We're rolling out additional updates to Synchro Chat, and 100% of these were based exclusively on user feedback. First up, we've expanded the available notifications of the Notification Center. We've separated notifications based on whether you're online or offline. You're considered online if you have at least one Synchro tab open on your desktop. So if you want additional notifications to roll in even while you're online, now you're free to do this. This is of course in addition to the chat notification badge here along the header, as well as the audio cues we provide by default. Next, we had a lot of requests for the ability to open new chats from anywhere that assets live within Synchro, so we did just that. There's a new chat button here on the asset quick view. A new chat action on assets associated with tickets. A new chat action on asset records themselves. And we added a new chat action to the new item drop down here for good measure. When you're in a chat itself, it's quite possible you might want to initiate a remote session to this asset right then and there. So we've added a remote access drop down here. This of course works with Synchro's native remote access platform, but it will also work if you've integrated your own instances of Screen Connect, Splashtop, or TeamViewer as well. Lastly, one of our largest feature requests revolved around the ability to review chat history when tickets were created from chats. Now when this occurs, we automatically add a link to your ticket comments. If the chat is still active, the link will take you right into that chat. If the chat has been archived, the link will instead take you to the full archived chat history. If the ticket was created while the chat was active and later was subsequently archived, the link will automatically update itself so you never have to. So that's our new, community-driven updates to Synchro Chat, available starting today.